Hecateus of Miletus, son of Hagar Sandris, was an early Greek historian of a wealthy family. He flourished during the time of the Persian invasion. After having traveled extensively, he settled in his native city, where he occupied a high position, and devoted his time to the composition of geographical and historical works. When Aristagoras held a council of the leading Ionians at Miletus to organize a revolt against the Persian rule, Hecateus in vain tried to dissuade his countrymen from the undertaking. In 494 BC, when the defeated Ionians were obliged to sue for terms, he was one of the ambassadors to the Persian satrap Artaphanus, whom he persuaded to restore the constitution of the Ionic cities. Hecateus is the first known Greek historian, and was one of the first classical writers to mention the Celtic people. Works Some have credited Hecateus with a work entitled Pi Epsilon Rho Iota Rho Micron Delta Rho Micron Sigma Gamma Sigma, written in two books. Each book is organized in the manner of a periplus, a point-to-point -point coastal survey. One, on Europe, is essentially a periplus of the Mediterranean, describing each region in turn, reaching as far north as Scythia. The other book, on Asia, is arranged similarly to the periplus of the Erythrian Sea of which a version of the 1st century AD survives. Hecateus described the countries and inhabitants of the known world, the account of Egypt being particularly comprehensive, the descriptive matter was accompanied by a map, based upon an Aximander's map of the earth, which he corrected and enlarged. The work only survives in some 374 fragments, by far the majority being quoted in the geographical lexicon Ethnica compiled by Stephanus of Byzantium. The other known work of Hecateus was regarded as the Gamma Epsilon Mu Epsilon Alpha Lambda Rho Micron Gamma Iota Alpha Iota or the Sigma Tau Rho Micron Rho Iota Alpha, a rationally systematized account of the traditions and the myths of the Greeks, a break with the epic myth-making tradition, which survives in a few fragments, just enough to show what we are missing. Skepticism. Hecateus' work, especially the genealogy, shows the marked skepticism of oral history, opening with Hecateus of Miletus thus speaks, I write what I deem true, for the stories of the Greeks are manifold and seem to me ridiculous. Herodotus tells a story of a visit by Hecateus to an Egyptian temple at Thebes. It recounts how the priest showed Herodotus a series of statues in the temple's inner sanctum, each one supposedly set up by the high priest of each generation. Hecateus, says Herodotus, had seen the same spectacle, after mentioning that he traced his descent, through sixteen generations, from a god. The Egyptians compared his genealogy to their own as recorded by the statues, since the generations of their high priests had numbered 345, all mortal men. They refused to believe Hecateus's claim of descent from a god. Historian James Shotwell has called this encounter with the antiquity of Egypt an influence on Hecateus's skepticism. He recognized that oral history isn't trustworthy. He was probably the first of the logographers to attempt a serious prose history and to employ critical method to distinguish myth from historical fact. Though he accepts Homer and other poets as trustworthy authorities, Herodotus, though he once at least contradicts his statements, is indebted to Hecateus for the concept of a prose history.